Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Royal Kennels YouTube channel. Today, in this video, we are going to talk about letting your dogs mature and not giving up on your, your puppy before it reaches its full potential. And I'll give you a little example of, you know, how the ugly puppy turns into the, the best puppy or a, a puppy that, you know, somebody may have looked over that ended up being the best puppy out of the litter. So guys, before we get too far in it, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you click that little bell, because once you click that little bell, it'll give you an option that says all notifications. Hit that all notifications, that way every time I upload a video, it's gonna go directly to your YouTube channel, and you'll be able to watch every single upload from us. So, man, y'all, it's, it's so important um, when it comes to maturity, and allowing your puppy to mature. I see a lot of people, um, they think one year, one years old, two years old, you know, um, ages like that are adult dogs. And technically they're not, y'all. At one years old, a dog is still a puppy. Um, and if, if you look at like the ABKC or any registry of, of that nature, any registry they don't even classify your dog like it doesn't fit into a class until it's 12 months old and the reason why they don't um classify them until that age is because they're only finished growing up and all the different classes like the pocket class the xl class the standard oh let me get let me fix the light the standard that that is distinguished by height so at 12 months old, your dog should not grow anymore, but it's still going to grow out. It's still going to get wide. It's still going to mature. It's still going to get those heavy features that you're looking for as a dog gets older. I've had dogs at four years old um, to where I've seen their full potential. Four years old. It's three years old. They're still growing. Three and a half, they're still changing and developing. And I've seen the ugly duckling turn into the best dog out of the litter. I had a puppy that this video is actually, um, it's not geared around, but I'm going to talk to you about it. I had a puppy in one of my last litters. Um, it, it, was a, it was a while back. I, I believe it was Tick to Bella. So in the litter of Tick and Bella, hey, y'all stop fighting. The litter of Tick and Bella we had a puppy that I called Baby Tick, or Lil Tick, Tick Jr., whatever you want to call it. Lil Mac, where you at, boy? And my big boy, I was just checking on you. So I had a puppy that we called Lil Tick. He was ticked up, he looked just like his daddy, all right? So y'all, he was, he was an amazing puppy. And then in the process of buying it, something happened where the, the buyer had to back out. So, you know, that happens a lot, y'all. That really does. You know, a lot of times, a lot of times, you know, people get into, get into the whole deposit thing and they really don't have the full amount or something to come up in the purchasing process to where they can't um, go through with the payment. And that's 100% all right. You know, it happens. But when I took that puppy and I was like, yo, it's available. Hold on one second, y'all. Hey, Jazz, stop. I know it's you. Stop. <laughs> so that's perfectly normal, and it happens a lot, all right? So I was reaching out to, to some people who already had a deposit down for um, a previous litter, and I was like, yo, one just came, a puppy just came available. So it was like, send me pics. So I sent the picture to maybe 10 people and I was like yo he's bad and they were looking at him and they was like uh, he's nice what you want for him so I'm like 3,000 plus the shipping so they was like um do you have any black do you have any fawn do you have a female I'm like yo look this is the one that I have I'm like look I understand he's a puppy he's not fat like my normal puppies are but yo, he's gonna be off the chain, y'all. This dude is a Tick clone. And he's exactly what Tick looked like when Tick was a puppy. So a lot of people, 
I have to say a lot of people kind of slept on him. But this one guy, and uh, shout out to you, my brother. You know who you are. A one guy in California, I was like, yo, he's going to be bad. And he was like, B, I trust you, bro. I trust the, the, the kennel. He was like, man, but look, in Cali, man, there's a lot of bullies. And when I, and when I walk my bully down the street, hold up. When I walk my bully down the street, like this thing got to turn heads, man. It's got to turn heads. So I was like, yo, I promise you, I promise you, he's going to turn heads, bro. Just his color pattern alone. He's going to turn heads, dog. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, man, let me get him. So, y'all, I went ahead. I sold him to him. I shipped him to him. He got him in Cali. And as he started developing at nine months old, he was like, yo, B, wait till I send you a picture of him. So I was like, man, let me see him. Sent me the picture. And I was like, man, I knew it. But y'all, now, at like two years old, oh my God. Man, he's not even two yet. He's probably a year and a half. And look, when I say absolutely amazing, y'all, this boy is absolutely amazing. And y'all, I guarantee you, when he's walking in the streets in Cali, he's turning heads. And you know, that's the thing about maturity, you know, in the American bully movement, well, I'm going to say in today's American bully movement, a lot of people, what they want to do is they just want to um, they just want to walk their dogs on a leash in the neighborhood and kind of flex with their dogs. And I don't let us find, you know, shit, I love to flex with them too. You know what I'm saying? But just because he's not in a flexing stage at three months, six months, or even one year, that doesn't mean he's not ever gonna be in a flexing stage. And be patient with your dogs. Your dogs don't fully mature until they're like three or four years old. A dog at four years old is considered in its prime. You know, I know, I know the way the dogs are now with the exotic movement and stuff. Some dogs aren't seeing um, that old, but that's not what this video is about, you know? But a real good quality dog, a real good quality dog, you should get 10, 11 years out of the dog, you know, unless a freak accident happens, you know, like, like my experience with the Big Mac. I think the Big Mac would have lived to probably 12 years old because he was a very healthy bull. But I didn't really see Big Mac's full potential, potential until he was four years old. And, and that's with every dog, y'all. Yeah, Lil Mac, Lil Mac, come see. Come see, Lil Mac. Let's see if he'll come. Lil Mac, come here, boy. Come see. Come see. So, Lil Mac, look, that dude's stubborn, bro. Lil Mac never hit a linky stage. Some dogs hit the linky stages. Blossom's a little more linkier than Big Mac, but I know how amazing Blossom's gonna be when she matures, or as she begins the maturing process, at one years old. You know, you could look at her right now. She's beautiful, yeah. She's thick. Even Lil Man. Lil Man at the bottom. You know, look, there you go. A good side shot of Blossom. You know, Blossom is linkier than Lil Mac. But when it's all said and done and Blossom is matured, Blossom is going to be an amazing dog. And she's going to produce amazing dogs. So I'm not really judging her at this point, which is why, you know, in most shows and you got classes and stuff like that. Yeah, you judge at three to six months or whatever, but that's that's just practice. It's just um, it's not actual competition, you know. So that's because they're they're in their developing process and they're not even classified as a certain class yet. So, you know, you got to take all that in consideration before you give up on your dog. Let your dogs mature. Just because the puppies aren't as um, fat as mine or just because I have a litter that's not as fat as the previous one before, 
the blood is the blood and it's gonna do what it's gonna do regardless so i just wanted to make that little uh point to a lot of people man um especially just getting into the movement and seeing things you know we all looking on the internet and we're purchasing dogs get out there go see these dogs in person that you want to purchase um or you know if you do if you do see it on the internet take a look at a lot of the grown dogs and do an assessment by what's on the yard not just the mother and the father of your dog but also the other dogs so you would know exactly what this breeder is doing and how their dogs are maturing and it's very important to have an old dog on your yard we have a fourth generation female here in our yard and she's kind of like um she's kind of like my conversation piece uh she's in the kennel right now because i got the little dogs out all day you want to say hi buddy paul walker y'all hey Well, you want to talk on YouTube? Hey, you want to tell um, Momo hi at home? Y'all, shout out to Miss Shauna Gray um, with Black Gold Bully Camp, y'all. That's who we got Paul Walker from. So we got the Vin Diesel and Paul Walker combination. I hope you guys stick around to uh, see them develop and to watch the team that they become for us to travel to the show range, y'all. We coming. We coming, y'all. See y'all um, see y'all at the show near you. I hope y'all have a wonderful day and God bless y'all.